Hello and welcome. We are Jamie and Cindy, the Biddy Buddies. In part one of our Tarpon Springs video, we covered the sponge docks and sponge diving. In this part two, we will cover the downtown area, a beautiful boat trip to Anclote Island, and Howard Park Beach. Welcome. Take 15, we're at Mama's. And we've walked around for about an hour in the Florida sun. And we have stopped for margaritas, which you're probably gonna have to refill because we can't seem to get this video right. I earned my $3 so, oh margarita. Yeah. And yes, we have bread. Looks good, we'll partake later. Anyway, we're at Mama's. And there's a good sign for it. <laughs> I have ordered the Saganaki just so that I can say Upa when they light it on fire. Is that real? And Jamie has ordered the mussels. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't real. So, margarita time at Mama's in Tarpon Springs. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, our first shot of Uzo. I don't know what you're it saying. tastes like licorice. Upa. Upa. Are you going to do it like a shot? Uh, or sip it? No. Okay, Upa again. Upa. Upa. Cheers. Yeah. Um, if you don't like licorice, <laughs> I think still it's try delicious. It. It's very delicious, actually. But I like licorice. Kind of tasting like a, a liquid um, licorice. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie likes the ouzo. I do. I also like Jägermeister. This is slightly like Jäger. Okay. So, she just finished off Cindy's ouzo because Cindy thought it was a little bit licorice-y. It is very licorice-y. I mean, it very. is hardcore anise. Is that what that is? I, I no idea. I think that's what they make licorice with. Um, but it was good, but it's just, I need half a shot. I wish I had video of your, of your after shot face, because it was hilarious. And we'll end on that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Jamie, what'd you think of those margaritas in there? They were pretty good. <laughs> margaritas. She had the shot and a half of Uzo. I just had the two margaritas. And really? I'm perfectly so fine. Lovely. I did have a sh half a shot of Uzo. Ignore whoever that stranger is. <laughs> Don't pay attention, Jimmy. It's okay. And you're now, I know your name is not Jimmy, it's Jamie. But that's okay. <laughs> Unfun. All the boats are fun if we're on them. <laughs> <laughs> we're going on an Odyssey Adventure boat, two hour trip to an island where we can go shelling. It's a sunset tour, in addition to the bonus of getting to shell on the island for a half an hour. I'm sure jocularity will ensue. Just heard a spiel from the guy who's taken us on the boat and buy your drink tickets when you buy your ticket because they're two for one there. And once you get on the boat, it's only cash, so beware.
the St. Joseph River. It's five miles long. Those people right there are the only people on the island other than the people we came with. We're gonna be here for sunset. And it's gorgeous. Here's some seriously brackish water. Jamie, come over here a minute. Come over here. You'll find them bunched up. So when you find one, you're going to find others. Ooh. Do you want yeah. me to put the camera in my bag or are you videoing? Um, I'm videoing, I think. See them all? Look at them. See them all? Oh, yes, I do. The that's the way they do. They just, they just bunch up. So look at this one. This one's a pretty one. I think I just saw fish swimming under there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is pretty. A little bit about that lighthouse. You see the lighthouse over there? I sir. Oh, Can you imagine so if you were the lighthouse keeper? You lived out here on this island. Yeah, really? You think it's going to be cool, huh? Yeah. Let me remind you, they had no running water out here. They brought their water from inland and kept it in a wooden cistern. So I call that the mosquito breeding pool. Oh, now, God. remember, when you get close to those mangroves over there, especially in the heat of the summer, the mosquitoes are so thick. You can lean into them without falling over. And, I mean, they're just mean and vicious, even when you just fish them real close to those mangroves. Uh, so this place was a swamp-infested, mosquito-filled yeah. heat wave. Imagine trucking through mosquitoes every day to go to your out outhouse Gross. and how that was in 100-degree heat. And then you carried kerosene up 127-some steps to get to the top of the in our hotel it is in Port Ritchie Newport, Newport Ritchie and um, we booked it on we booked it on Travelocity and it was oversold on Travelocity I mean the quality of the place was oversold we walked down this long breezeway past very seedy looking men standing in their doorways yeah. Uh, and we Across are the street. There's a preacher on a loudspeaker and we're stuck in a smoking room, which yeah. You know if you're not a smoker, it's stinky They're using Super Bowl weekend as the excuse, but we're at least an hour away from Tampa yeah. And I don't think people who go to the Super Bowl stay in hotels like this. yeah I don't think anybody was rushing down here to so, be like hey, let's go to the Super Bowl Yeah, it's um it is disappointing, and we're here for two nights, and it is non-refundable. 
So the Magnuson Hotel and Marina. Which I can't wait to see the Marina. I really can't. We're going to say no. Yeah, big no. Don't do it. And we very thankfully stopped at a liquor store, so now we drink. <laughs> We're going to go to George's Breakfast Station because definitely want to go where you know, a little out of the way places. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Would you like to go? Two euros, two chicken euros, two Cubans, two Phillies, 849. Wow. Yeah, that's a good deal. All right. Yeah, my dad would be all over. Too late, I don't mind. There, now you're on. There you go. Come on, don't fuck that. Are you George? That's me. Oh, okay. It was okay. very good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. <laughs> that was very good. I enjoyed that. Well, we're at George's Diner. Um, it's just a local diner uh, and very nice proprietor, but they have a lot of specials here. 849, two gyros, gyros. <laughs> yeah, and they have breakfast specials here too, so everybody likes a good breakfast special. And I do anyway. <laughs> My dad used to <laughs> love a mom and pop or just pop, whatever kind local of place. Yeah. yeah, a local place, not a chain. We endeavor to not eat at chains. There it is. We're on the corner of Pinellas and Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Across the street from George's Breakfast Station is a place called Tarpon Tom's where they rent bikes, kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, Anyway, they will deliver to where you want to start your ride. Little Main Street area here. This is very cool. The Olympic restaurant has some outdoor seating, wood-fired pizza. Huh. And this is an old time. Don't see many of those anymore. This is Tarpon Avenue. Tarpon Avenue. The barber shop. An amazing creative home market. The game store. Vintage toys on the other side of the street. Mm, we might have to stop. Department store. It gives me so much joy in here just because of the way it feels. <laughs> kind of want a hat. is the Main Street in the historic Tarpon District. It's not called Main Street. Actually, there are several streets, but... The vintage toy shop. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. And yeah, um, there's something for everybody. There's just every toy imaginable inside. 
<laughs> nice um, trip down memory lane. Indeed. <laughs> We're walking around the main street in Tarpon Springs and finding that lots of things aren't open. Some of them open at 11, some of them open at 12, and some opened at 10. So it's like different opening times. Yeah, so if you want to see everything, come after afternoon. 12. Yeah, because it's a hit or miss, and there's some shops that are open in 15 minutes, some shops open in an hour, and it's kind of kind of that's kind of frustrating. But it's a little frustrating. Yeah. So we'll save you the frustration come later in the day. <laughs> but we want there's places we want to come back to. This frustration. It's a consignment and antique store. You know how we love these things. So, we're going to take you in. Oh my, I'll take pictures. that consignment and antique store. St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral here in Tarpon Springs. They also have a bookstore. It's a beautiful building. I need a ride. <laughs> Thanks for picking me up. Oh yeah, don't you know. <laughs> <laughs> Boat rentals, big wheel things, kayaks, subs for rent here in Howard Park. Got here in time for the sunset. We have some fancy shots, bought them at the liquor store on the way to Tarpon Springs, and I know you've seen us do shots already, but we're in need of them now. Yeah. Cindy was in an accident, is hurt. I'm old and I'm hurt. It's fine. Yeah. So we, we haven't had a good couple of good weeks. <laughs> no. Thank goodness we had stuff in the can. Yeah, dang. And uh, because we won't be traveling for a little bit at least. 
Maybe next week we yeah. can do the road thing. Yeah. So these are tequila cinnamon orange. That sounds like a lot of flavors. <laughs> Uh, you're you're already making your shot face, and you haven't even had it. It's got cinnamon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. This is got not the cinnamon tequila. challenge. I like orange, and I you like think. tequila. Cheers, Lajava. <laughs> Thank you, Buster. I taste the cinnamon. It's not the delicious. Cinnamon. Yeah, I did care for that. It's That's not like, burny or anything. It's called licks. You're oh. welcome. <laughs> Tequila cinnamon orange. What makes you buy these flavors? <laughs> I, what I saw at the liquor store. I mean, the other ones that they have are things that we've done, you know, like. Oh, it'll do the purpose. Thank goodness I wasn't on painkillers. <laughs> Later. Take them Later. before you go to bed. I'm going to put these down. <laughs> shelf right beside you but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> whatever <laughs> stop judging me <laughs> no okay tarpon springs part two we actually had a rap video that we did on a beach and can't find yeah. so well i bet you it that. turned out really nice too <laughs> so Maybe. If, we, if you see it out there in the universe or the <laughs> cloud or anywhere let us know where it's at <laughs> We can't find it. Maybe it's <laughs> sitting on the beach. We should go back and check. <laughs> anyway, here we are to tell you about our second day in Tarpon Springs. Uh, day two, we actually went downtown Tarpon Springs, which we didn't really know existed right. before this trip. Because mm -hmm. I've always just gone straight to the sponge docks. That's what uh, Tarpon Springs is known for. Um, so to, this time we went to the little downtown, drove through the little downtown area, which was... Uh, we found a nice cafe to eat in the morning, and we had a good time. Yeah, George, who you've seen in this video, yeah. uh, delightful. Yeah. So aching feet, again, low for yeah. Tarpon Springs. Maybe one, yeah. one and a half, because now I'm thinking, okay, is this comparable to a hike to the ferry pools, or is it comparable <laughs> to going out and getting my mail? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very low because the downtown area itself is only a couple of blocks long, and then any place else that you go to, like um, the, the one Craig Park or the beach, you'll, you'll get in your car and drive, um, and, and any of the restaurants too. Right, or so there, the there's a, a few block, mm -hmm. as you've seen in the video, a few block area of antique stores and that really cool toy store. Uh, but there were places to sit, right. and so very low, very easy walking, and no problem with parking. No, yes. yes. Very easy parking and everywhere no, we went. Um, no mobility issues, no. like if you had a no. walker or wheelchair or scooter, not a problem. Right. Cost was low. Breakfast was cheap. Yeah. We could have had the breakfast special and both of us eaten for less than $10. Yeah. But no, we had to be rebels and choose our own food. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good food. It, it was, was a local food. diner, local and small business, and, and he was Greek. and Yeah. yeah. He so, was, it was delightful. So nice place to um, eat. And mm -hmm. the cost for other things there, I saw a dresser there that you're not allowed to go get because I'm still contemplating it <laughs> at an antique store for $125 and it was beautiful. Yeah. So how, I mean, all of the prices yeah, we saw, I, I thought were reasonable. Even outrageous. the toy mm -hmm. store. Yeah. For vintage toys. Yeah. yeah. What they had priced at was very reasonable. So yeah, you're not going to break your wallet by going to Tarpon Springs no, in I, any area, I don't think. So, uh, um, cost is very nice. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Uh -huh. Worthiness, Hi for me. Yeah, I really enjoy Tarpon Springs, always always do. And now I enjoy it even more knowing that we have a whole, you know, that whole other whole area, area besides <laughs> the sponge dots. Yeah. 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 Uh, so very enjoyable. High on worthiness. Mm -hmm. I don't know and if we and ever the boat trip was yeah, that so was awesome. worth it. Um uh, the only thing I would do different is you buy your tickets for the drinks ahead of time. Uh, we bought one set of drinks and spy <laughs> more. Yeah. We would have gotten one for the trip out and probably one for the trip back. That right. that was the only thing. But, you know, it's not a deal breaker. It was still a good deal. The drinks were a good deal. You know, it was, yeah. it's not top notch. You're on a boat. But it was a good deal. We en I enjoyed that trip, yeah. uh, boat trip. But we'll do lot. it again. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the one other thing, there will be a separate video for the sponge saga. 
but I would bring like a mesh laundry bag, mm -hmm. something sturdy, so I that it's got it could be, on it, so you know, we could rinse it, we could carry yeah, it, we it's waterproof. Sponges hold water, and you can't really, you can't really, <laughs> they wring them out. Um, but uh, uh, waterproof because if, especially if you're spending a weekend back there, then it's going to sit in the back of your car, and it's kind of odiferous the next day. Kind of as generous <laughs> because my car, however many weeks later still smells like the yeah. sponges. <laughs> yeah, so if you're going to go out there and try to collect some sponges that have washed up, um, just be aware. <laughs> be, be prepared. <laughs> I would say give them the $18 and buy the sponge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool that we've it's got fun. these sponges yeah. that we collected. Yeah. <laughs> but, but holy moly. <laughs> you, know, you know why you pay money for sponges. You'll see. They're a pain. That will um, be its own yeah. video. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> safety, uh, same as in, I think, part probably part one. Yeah. Uh, felt pretty safe anywhere we went in part, Carpet Springs. Agreed, mm -hmm. except as we've probably said several times, the hotel, <laughs> which was not even in Tarpon yeah, Springs. Yeah, it was so. up the street. So mm -hmm. otherwise it was all fine. Mm -hmm. And historically, the same history that existed for the sponge dogs uh, in part one, very high historical value for me, um, not only for the sponging industry, but there were lots of cool antiques. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, Fun little area. Like that oh. department store reminded me of walking oh, into yeah. a 1950s or 60s, whatever it was department store. Stepping back in time, yeah. the way things that used to be. So it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah I thought that was neat. And mm -hmm. it had been there since 1912, yeah. which I remember because of the Titanic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that wraps it up. It does. Make sure that you please like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Make comments below mm -hmm. because that helps us. And gives us information if there's something you want to see or don't want to see, mm -hmm. uh, a shot you want us to do, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, follow us on Instagram at Biddy Buddies. And make sure to go out and uh, do all the things that you've been planning to do. Do it now before it's too late. And right now we're both realizing. <laughs> it's, we're getting. <laughs> time's yeah, a ticking, honey. Time's a ticking fast. <laughs> you never know when so, you can't go. You want to get up off the couch and get going. Get up and do it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Out. Out. <laughs>